Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the things I have learned doing a PhD in computer science and how that prepared me for an industry job and for a management position. My name is Florian. I'm a software engineering manager responsible for 100 software engineers that are globally distributed. In 2015, I finished my PhD in computer science. The topic of my PhD was causality checking of complex system models. And while this topic itself didn't really help me in my later career, there were a lot of soft skills and other skills that I learned during this time that helped me to reach this career level and also in general in my career. And that's what I want to talk about in today's video. After my PhD was finished in 2015 or actually already in the last months while I was writing the PhD thesis, I started an industry job as a senior software engineer and software architect. Shortly after, I already got promoted to software project manager and software team lead. I was responsible for my first team of software experts and then I made the step into software management and then my team grew over time to 100 engineers worldwide. Now the question is, did my PhD in computer science help me here? And there are certainly things that I learned that helped me along that way. Number one is you learn during a PhD to manage yourself. You have to be the person that motivates yourself, that determines the priority of tasks yourself, and you have to be self-driven to really be successful in a PhD. And that's exactly what I learned doing my PhD. The second thing with respect to management that I learned is managing others. Because as a PhD student, you later on will also guide bachelor students, master students doing their thesis projects. At our research group, we also had projects with industry partners, with um, other universities, where also project management skills and people management skills were needed. So I could basically train those skills in a still protected environment. Another really helpful soft skill that you learn doing a PhD is to market yourself. Even though it might not be obvious, also in a PhD in computer science, you have to market yourself. You have to market your ideas. You have an idea and you need to sell this to your PhD supervisor. You have to sell it to your colleagues. You have to get the right to work on this idea. And that's one aspect or one way to train selling ideas. And related with the marketing, one thing that you definitely will also learn is presenting. One key part of a PhD is publishing your research results. And since most of the publishing in computer science is done in conferences, you will speak at conferences. You will present at conferences. So you will be trained or will have to train how to present your research results in front of a large audience. And apart from that, you also have usually a time budget for that and complex results, right? So you need to learn how to package complex results into a format that you can then use to present it in 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it might be, so that the audience still understands what you're talking about. I was also doing teaching at the university where I did my PhD. So explaining things, presenting things, teaching things is something that I learned there as well. And the final thing that I learned about myself or that I gained out of this time is confidence. Because a 
PhD requires a lot of hard work and you will have times and phases where you don't make progress or where you have a hard problem that you can't immediately solve and you really need then the endurance. What you learn in this time is that you can do it and that there are hard times, obviously, both in the PhD and then also later in your life, but you will always try to find a way out of these hard times. And that's something that I learned there as well. And I built this confidence to really master and tackle the challenges as they come. So those are the things that I learned doing my PhD. I already have made some other videos about whether a PhD is worth it and five reasons to do or not to do a PhD. So if you are right now questioning whether you should do a PhD or not, then check them out. I will also put the links to the videos in the description. If you are interested in computer science, software engineering, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you have liked this video, please hit the like button, leave a thumbs up here. That always means a lot. And of course, I'm interested in your experiences. What have you learned doing a PhD or what are questions that you have regarding doing a PhD in computer science? Be part of the discussion down in the comments below and I see you in the next video.